Hello everyone and welcome to the 131st episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now for those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and put them to testing here in Stormux. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and while you're watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. As I said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And starting this episode off with the first creation, we have the SS Scummer. This is a sinkable Great Lake cargo steamer. So it's a steamship with coal, of course. Along with that, we got top speed around 15 knots and a full interior. So let's go and spawn this in and see how it works. And spawning in the ship, uh, yeah, overall nice little design to it. You can see we've got some life rafts here at the top that look like they are fully working. And this is a sinkable ship, so that is very important. Little mast here at the front, uh, we've got our funnel here, looks like there we've got our steam stuff there, and then just some cabin areas. Looks like we've also got some doors to go inside, okay. Let's just go and jump on this and let's just go and see what's going on. So here at the front we've got a little bit of an anchor system, uh, This I don't know if this actually moves, but I did see some anchors earlier on the side, so this does definitely have anchors. Going here we got the first mate room, lights automatically turning on, very useful. Uh, bed, sitting table, looks like we've got Morse code generator and also our sinking ship mode here. Okay, and then it looks like we just got cabins all the way through. Okay, yes. So different cabins for different things, galleys, deckhands, and then we come into here which is looking like another little area and we got some little service hatch. Very nice. Okay, let's go out. So out the back here, obviously the funnel here for the exhaust. Uh, we have our steam system here and then engine rooms okay so in the engine rooms we can go down and we've got the start of our engine room system so you can see the big boilers and also the furnace over there looks like we can go down what's through here okay so rudder okay this is pretty cool so you can see here we've got a coal hopper and we've also got a door so if you were at a port and you wanted to refuel this you could open this hatch and you can actually bring through Coal, that's quite useful, and he's got on both sides. Okay, what's through here before we go down? Look at the cool steam stuff. Uh, so it looks like a cargo bay, and also more cargo doors and some cargo hatches. Through here, let's go and open one of these hatches. So got some stairs to go down. Oh, very nice. Okay, nicely detailed in there. I like how it's detailed, but not overdone. i uh, got a staircase to go up. Where does this take us? Okay, so just do a smaller hatch. Uh, we've got a lighter boiler and bilge pump. Okay, so a little boiler for our bilge pump systems. And then just some very basic detailing there. Okay, cool. I like it. Okay, let's go have a look at all the steam stuff in the actual engine room. So a staircase to go down here. So let's look on the left. So it looks like we've got water if we want it. We've also got our breakers. We've got... What I'm guessing, okay, so on either side there, we've got actual coal humpers or bunkers. And then if you want more, you press this button and it drops it there. And then from there, we would feed it into our actual boiler over here in furnace. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's an auto feed option. And then we can open it up. As soon as we open it up, we can light it. And then you can actually feed it. So for example, when I took that coal earlier. I can now stick it inside here if I want to. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, in terms of setup, uh, you don't really need to do anything. It Once we press this, I think it just lights itself and we're good to go. Obviously, we need to wait for temperature and so on and so forth to get up to spec, but I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Let's go upstairs and um, we've also got telegraph here. I'm guessing you can control it from up in the bridge. Let's go and find the bridge, though. So we go up here, we come out to the main deck. And we can go up here, and this is where we have the lifeboats. Okay, so we've got lifeboats that we can lower and raise. We can also swing the Davids out if we want to. Nice. Okay, and we can also swing it back in if we want to do also. Cool, and then you can drop them, and then this is... Is there... Oh, it does look like there's some controls in there. That will be quite useful. Yeah, so you've got full controls. This is a fully working lifeboat. Some seats here, the little mast, and then looks like we've got a bridge here. So in the bridge, we've got nav lights, exterior, interior, we'll get all that on. We've got map table, we want it, and we also got a GPS autopilot, very useful. A little telegraph, uh, we've got our 
What is this for? So it's just an empty button and an empty button. Oh, anchors. That must be the anchors. Okay. We got knots and we got a little compass. We got a horn. Nice. Okay. And we should be able to just tell the guys downstairs that we want to go. Now, I don't know if we can see what our steam and stuff is going on. I'm just going to put my telegraph. And this works in like sets. So at the moment we set it to 0 0.2, we press up again or W, 0 0.4. And yeah, you can see we're moving. Look at that. Nice, big propeller here at the back. And you can have a look at the actual propulsion system. And that looks cool. Very nice. We can obviously do telegraph up to one. And top speed was around 15 knots. It's not bad, not bad at all. How about turning? Digs in a little bit, but I think that's very stable. Very acceptable. Yeah, a lovely, lovely little steamship to start this uh, episode off with. Very nice. I like it. Let's go and move on to the next creation of the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Project 641B Tango. This is a submarine, and now the creators said that this is meant to be their recreation of it. It's not one-to-one -one scale, and it's not completely accurate, um, but they pretty much have their idea of it. So it looks pretty cool. Apparently it has some torpedoes on there too, so let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the submarine, a very nice looking submarine. I like it. I like how the creators used paint blocks here, or actually just painted the wedges here to give it a little bit of a different look to it. Um, so at the back, we've got some rope anchors. I'm guessing that would be a life buoy there. Oh, we've got the coning tower, nicely detailed, I like it. Little rails so you don't fall off. Uh, hatch, hatch, and hatch. Okay, and we've got some stabilizer fins there. Let's jump on in the front and let's see what the first hatch is. Okay, so we've got some rope inside there. Uh, what is this going to be? Okay, so this would probably be to get some more torpedoes in, because this is the torpedo room. Okay, so one day when we are able to refuel and use torpedoes, that'll be quite useful. I guess you could use them now, but... More sense once we get weapons DLC, I think. Uh, towards the back, not much. Uh, just some detailing, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go inside the coning tower. So we're going to climb up first. So we're going in here. I'm guessing here at the back we would have our cameras and things like that. Periscopes. Uh, we've got a little spotlight that we can turn on and rotate. Uh, we can go in through here. It looks like just an observation area. And then in here, we're actually inside the coning tower now. Close the hatch, do it left and right, and then we've got a viewport on all sides, actually. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, we've also got some equipment behind us there if we needed it. Cool, let's go down, and we're going to go all the way down into the actual submarine, and we can close this hatch. Okay, so spotlight for now, maybe, not too sure. Uh, we do need to start by going backwards, so we're going to do that first, because we need to get engines running and those kind of things. I wonder if there's a key switch for spotlight or for lights inside our creation just at the moment as of for tubes any for lights i'm evolve there we go daylight night there we go that's what i wanted perfect now you guys can actually see okay so through the back here we've got some quarters okay we've got a quarantine cabin interesting and a door to go through so let's go through this door a uh, little kitchen a little mess area Washroom, and then we go to the engine room, which seems to be bugged out a bit with this door. Okay, there we go. So engine room inside here. Okay, interesting. And then we've got battery room. So the thing, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to get the hydraulics on. Yes. Okay, so let's get the hydraulics on. Cool, so those are good. Fantastic. And then we have the engines. Now there's a bunch of valves and things we need to get running if I'm correct. So no alarm, no air, air pumps, fuel valves. Okay. Uh, there we go. So there's an air valve there. There's an air valve there. What are these? Exhaust valves, exhaust valves. Uh, anything else that I've missed? Don't think so. Let's see if we can try and get these engines running. So throttle up, throttle up. And then starter. There we go. Nice. Okay, so the engines are running. Perfect. Which I'm guessing would be recharging our batteries. Nice. We've got a little alarm. 
the engine room. Uh, we can head through now to this area. We'll come back to this and let's just go and check out the front. So in here, it looks like a little radio room. And then through here, we've got monitor, so radar, okay. And sonars, cool. Ooh, wait, hold on, that's pretty cool. That's nice, I like how he's used the door frames to frame that. That's pretty cool, I don't think I've seen that before. Hmm, interesting. Uh, torpedo room, inside here, I'm just gonna open that door. Uh, looks like we've got some bits in the torpedo room, okay. And we've got one, two, three, four torpedoes, and that's the hatch that we can load in. Okay, cool. Torpedo loaders, so we can actually reload them. Nice. Okay, let's go and close that. We're going to go through. Uh, let's see what this room does. So, diving alarm. Okay. Uh, we've got ballast, blow, work in progress, work in progress. We've got turn screen on. Okay, so this is all targeting for your torpedoes. And then you've got fires. You've got bearings your torpedo i think uh what else do we have looks like heading speed coordinates snorkel all our different masts and things that we can get up let's try all of those for now let's always get them up but why not so we've got main periscope there's a periscope there i want to check out too and esm mast why not it's quite low isn't it Guess when you crouch, use that. Okay. Surprised I didn't. It, it kind of looks like it should be going up, doesn't it? And I'm guessing this should also turn. We missed. Did we miss? I don't think we missed anything. No, it's just throttles and clutches. Okay, that should go up. I'm guessing. Maybe it's kind of like bugged out. Who knows? There's a little lamp underneath there too. Oh cool. Okay, so I don't know what's happening with that, but oh well. Maybe I'm not meant to have everything up at the same time. Okay, but you can see all those things that are up there. Okay, uh, we've got engine, th so electrical engine throttle and diesel clutch. So we can move forwards under our own power. Uh, yeah, why don't we just do that? That's diesel clutch. So we are definitely moving forwards as you can see. Cool. and we should actually be able to start diving if I'm correct so to dive we need to do a few different things if I'm correct so we can turn the ballast vent a key okay ballast vent cool so that's mean we should be actually dropping down now and we can fill it up to the crate says 110,000 if I'm correct Oh wow, that's actually filling up really quickly, isn't it? Uh, let's go and turn that off. That filled up so quickly. Wow, look at that. Start using our electrical throttle. I don't know if we can... The snorkel should allow us still to have our diesel. Oh, that's really cool. And then we can do um, our depth hold, which is one. Which I'm guessing it's just holding our current depth. I'm guessing our current depth. Oh no, there that's the depth we need to do for the minus 10. Let's see if that works. Yes, that does. Okay, cool. So that was working. And you can see now it's completely diving. That's nice. Obviously our engines should be dying any second because our snorkel is under the water now. Yep, engines are dead. We are now fully electric. Okay, nice. Obviously we could increase that. We could go to like minus what? Minus 7. And then our snorkel should get out the water and we might be able to restart those diesel engines but you know we don't really need them i think the battery will probably last quite a while what's our current battery work in progress is there anything here for like battery battery there we go battery okay yeah so quite a bit of battery i think we'll be fine you can hear those engines have actually restarted because the snorkel is out of the water all right, so let's go and play with the torpedoes. Now, the first thing that we need to do is open up the external hatches. Okay, so that should have opened up the external hatches. So A and D is where to hit. Okay. As you can see there, we can choose where we want to hit. Uh, we can also choose the depth. So there's the depth over there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. And then we've got... 
plus and minus so range and then view range okay so you can actually change the settings of this uh, we've got the different tubes that we can go and fire so i'm guessing one two three and four uh, you can see those two hatches have gone open so i'm going to go with tube number one and that should go and fire it there it is it's gone and it's going all the way to the left now because obviously we set it to the left and over there and it's also set to the bearing by the way uh, i left it on bearing current bearings 59 obviously zero bearing if we would set this to 59 bearing for example and we'd fire two is that two i think that's three yes that was three you can see it now goes straight on cool i like that that works actually those torpedoes worked very well and very simple so I think if the creator obviously modifies this a little bit once we go over and see this will work really well. So guys, um, a lovely creation. I like it. Oh, you can see this has gone up now and it's moving. Okay, that's better than what it was before. Cool. Nice. I like it. I think it's a cool creation. Very nice. Let's go and move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Godwit. This is a light amphibious aircraft. Now, this aircraft apparently has a single cylinder engine inside it, which is quite incredible. Uh, along with that, it of course also can go on water and on land. So very interesting. So let's spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the plane, very nice, very interesting design to it. Interesting. So you can see we've got the landing gear here, uh, propellers on either side, which looks like they've also got some tanks on them for I'm guessing, which would be fuel. Uh, our engine, I'm guessing, would be over here. Yeah, so the single cylinder engine is there. Okay. Uh, ailerons and rudders and things at the back. Hm, very cool. Okay. How do we get inside this? Maybe from the top? Yes. Okay. So from the top here, we can get in. Uh, we've got a ton of seats, actually. Well, I would like to maybe see the creator change the name of these uh, so we can get them working with Stormlink. Uh, we've got some equipment on the roof and here's the engine okay uh we jump in here we've got throttle high speed mode gps waypoint system landing gear is down and a few other things cool okay so we can get stabilizer gps autopilot landing lights parking brake landing gear engine okay so six is for engine and we need to wait for the rps to get up a little bit and get our throttle up too nice okay and we're pretty much heading off cool let's go and just keep ourselves a little bit straight here okay and there we go look at that i didn't even do anything very cool so landing gear five and that goes and retracts we're doing a very good speed actually stabilizer so that's now gone disabled the stabilizer if i'm correct and that means we can do this whereas if i turn it on it goes and straightens itself out i should have closed that hatch actually we go and do that while we're flying and i ah oh, we need a seat okay there we go let me go and close that hatch because we will test out the water landing feature ah uh, so very useful actually very easy to to go and fly this thing cool let's go down let's see how well this thing will work we need to go down into the water so dq starts all using up and down we do have a hotkey for that let's go zoom in a bit here yeah look at that i didn't even try and we just went down really easily we've got the floats on either side that are keeping us straight and level cool so then you can get out by jumping into one of the seats do what you need to do jump back in get the throttle straight up Got a heater here if we want also and then look i'm not doing anything i'm literally just doing absolutely nothing let me do s a bit and look there we go we're out very simple very easy great has done a great job uh, managing the managing that one cylinder engine wow do some tricks here if we want to and we can also get our stabilizer back on if we wanted to also so yeah the creator's done a great job really really good you know maximizing that power coming from that little one cylinder engine 
to one, yeah, it's just a little one cylinder. Done a great job, I think. And it flies also really well. Yeah, a little one cylinder. Cool. So another little lovely creation. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Chess 3x3 Lua. This is meant to be a chess game inside of Stormworks. So this is created using Lua, uh, and it's obviously available on a 3x3 display. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. So spawning in the creation, uh, yeah, it's a Lua chess game, so you can actually play chess here in Stormworks. Now, what the creator is doing is they're using a Lua block to obviously image this on and using the touch functionality of a screen. Now, this works for a 3x3 screen or larger, according to the creator. Now, there are some limitations to this creator that they haven't added in here. One is that it doesn't limit you to where you put the pieces. So, for example, I could select here and put this completely anywhere I want to. Um, so, there are no limitations on that and there also is no checkmate functionality. However, you can actually undo things. So for example, as you saw, I placed that there. I can actually bring it back, which is quite cool. And yeah, you can pretty much have a full game of chess here, which is quite nice, um, especially playing multiplayer. This could be a cool little function, but that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, very simple, very clean, and very cool. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next creation of the episode. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the Lockheed Electra 10A. This is an American all-metal monoplane airplane. Uh, looks really cool. So it's from 1930s. Uh, it's converted to the Douglas DC-2 and the Boeing 247. And uh, man, it looks absolutely gorgeous from the workshop page. Yeah? So let's go and spawn this in and see how it flies. And spawning in the aircraft, man, that nose looks absolutely incredible. I think the creator's done a fantastic job. Look at that. Just that overall, sh wow. That looks really good. Really, really good. Crazy done a fantastic job. Okay, so it looks like what? Twin engine design. Uh, we got some rope anchors and things around there. The wings. Maybe a door here, possibly. Tail. Yeah, overall, just the general shape of this looks spectacular. Refueling. Door to get in. Okay, so we come in through here. I wonder how there's a handle there, so we can use that to get in. Nice. Very easy. Uh, close that off. Uh, nothing else in the back here. Looks like we got some seats. Ah, please name them for Stormlink, please, creator. Uh, what else you can use this for? If you could use this for Stormlink, much nicer, I think. Uh, so we got camera lights, standing lights, um, position lights, strobes, cockpit, avionics. We've got engine throttles, landing gears, t old hold, starters, fuel pumps. Flap selection. Okay, so where is current flaps? Does that tell us where they currently are at the moment? No, okay, I guess we are... Oh, wait, there we go. No. Cool. Okay, so you can see there where the flaps are. Okay. Interesting. So we can set the flaps. Uh, the creator said for uh, takeoff, one-fourth. So we'll set that to like about that much. Uh, that's cool. We also need to do a few things. So we've got the AVX on, we've got the fuel pumps. We need to get the parking brake. Where is that? There we go. So parking brake is currently on, which is good. We need to set the throttles to 0 0.4. So we'll set those up there. Uh, we'll be able to just get the engines on. Nice. Okay. Pretty straightforward on that. Okay. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to get engines up and running. We did that. Lights. Okay, so we pretty much are good to go. We just need to take the parking brake off, get our throttle up, which is one. And there we go. And in theory, our flaps should be doing the work, and they are. Nice. Look at that. Get the flaps off. There we go. Flaps are currently off now. Uh, landing gear, let's get landing gear up. And there we go, landing gear is gone. Wow, very easy. I like it. Ah, look at that. So, I really like that nose design. The man looks so beautiful. What a beautiful plane. Alt hold, I'm guessing, would be fine. We can try. This is in feet, by the way, so 400. And then I think alt hold is. 
So 400 feet, we are currently at... Where is my alt? There we go. So, okay, we're going to go quite low, I think. 400 feet coming up soon, and we should start leveling out. Very nice. So very nice and slow and steady. Yeah, until the end there, went all weird. But uh, very nice and slow and steady. Beautiful. Isn't the creators done a fantastic job with this, hasn't they? Really, really nice. We can get the alt hold off also. Go back to manual flight. Beautiful plane. I like that it's not really any stabilizer, but there is. There isn't. There is. There isn't. Um, because you can do things like this, where normally with a stabilizer you can't. So I like that. Very nice. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, Chris has done a great job with this, and I think you guys will agree with me on that. Plane is spectacular. So another lovely, lovely creation to end this episode off with. As always, guys, if you want to check out any of the creations that we have had a look at in this episode, I do leave them linked in the video description so you can give some love over to those creators, go and explore their creations, and just have some fun with them. As always, if you have enjoyed this episode, uh, let me know in the comments below what creations were your favorite. And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until the next one, see you then.